so what i'm going to discuss in today's session now i'm going to discussing about the resume preparation session like uh, how to prepare the resume as a experienced guy so how we are going to do we are going to discuss it okay so to do this resume preparation i'm requesting all of you i'm going to generate one link for everyone okay so whoever name i'm calling okay one by one you guys have to uh, click on that link okay you need to send a request so what you need to do is i'm going to ping one link here i'm going to ping one link see i have pinged one link in the go to meeting chart anybody not able to hear me please rejoin i hope all of you able to hear me right can you please confirm yes if you are able to hear me or not okay so i'm sharing one link in the chat can all of you please click on that link all of you please click on that link okay so now what you need to do is one by one let me do it uh, let me test it from my end Shakil, please share your screen. So click on the link whichever I have given in your GoToMeeting. After your click on, after your login, scroll down. slowly if you're going very fast then how can we find out scroll up yeah here you can see create new on the right side you can see create new on the right side bottom create new right skip it create new 
I think you were already created the resume. Mm -hmm. Please log in with a different email address. For example, if you are getting this kind of issue, you already exceeded one resume limit, then uh, please sign in with a different email address. sign out on the right side corner there is a sign out option is there yeah click on that log out now we can log in with a different email address whichever you are not using regularly You can create any of on Gmail, then you can log in, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, Srinivas, you can share your screen. She knows she can share your screen. Yeah. Yeah, go to the tab. Right. Here, after you are giving your job title as a Azure Data Engineer, then after give your first name and last name. Please follow the instructions, all of you. Give your first name and last name. Then after the email address. Email address means whichever email you want to keep in your uh, now create account and uh, receive job notifications. And your phone number, country, city, all you can give. So city means currently where you are working. Are you working in Bangalore or Hyderabad? That information you need to provide. So here this professional summary and uh, other things we will not touch now scroll down scroll down don't touch the employment history as well yeah coming down so here you can see the education so under the education you need to add your highest qualification education okay so for example you completed uh, bsc computers and uh, then after mba mca so you want to put mba mc any of one only what is your highest qualification you want to mention that only you can keep you no need to put your ssc intermediate uh, b tech m tech something like that you can put whichever the any of one whether you want to put your highest qualification mca mba or uh, b tech or bsc so just remove another one Keep any of one only. Yeah, click on delete, right. Now you can modify, edit this one. So what is your university? What is your degree?
Select the month under the tier. No, no, it will come. Go, go to there. Did you select any of one month first? Select any of one month. Yeah. Later we can modify. First select any of one month, please. Not in the end. I'm, I'm asking you in the start. Start. Select any of month. Yeah. Then click outside. You can do it manually edit right you can edit manually the num year okay then you no need to provide any description okay just scroll down if you want to add your linkedin or any social media profiles you can able to add it over here but i don't recommend okay scroll down so here what are all the skills we have we are going to add it so before adding the skills uh, let's open a notepad open one notepad in your system what are the skills you need to add i will tell you okay so if you are a azure data engineer just put the heading azure data engineer hmm. come down yeah the first skill what you need to add is blobs service Second one, data lake, Gen 2. Next one, Azure SQL database. Fourth one, 
Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pool. Data factory. You can put Azure Data Factory. Next, Azure Data Bricks. Next, uh, Logic Caps. Next, Azure Key Vaults. Next, SQL. Next, PySpark. Next, Python. Next, Azure DevOps. CICD pipelines continuational CICD pipelines and after Azure data bricks you can add one more Azure synapse analytics Okay, and the last skill you can add Power BI. Okay, so these are all the skill sets you need to add by the Azure Data Engineer. Okay, now coming to put a title Data Analyst. So when you want to become a data analyst, so what you need to add is, you need to add SQL, Python, Power BI, Power BI Desktop, Power BI Online Cloud, Power BI Report Server, Report Builder, DAX, Power BI Mobile App,
yeah so these are all the skills as a data analyst you need to add it so can you please ping all these things in the chat only for data engineers add the above one for data analyst you can add the bottom one ping in the go to meeting chat Yeah, now we can go to the skills. So under the skills, first hide that one. The bottom you can see hide option. Okay, so you need you need to modify the sequence what I told. So first click on that data analysis. Yeah, here you can edit that skill. Which one we kept first? You can put blob service so how much experience level you want to keep so you just uh, move that one okay so mostly you can keep all as a four five range like this you can able to adjust the experience level next data link into so this is how Please add one by one, one by one. All of you, please do it.
okay go back to that uh, skills scroll down yeah wait so here here wait 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 here we have written sql py spark python right can you please remove those three so come down under the languages you can able to add those three just edit it under the languages you need to keep one is about the sql replace the english no just edit the existing ones only on top we have italian also you can keep that italian as a no don't keep anything just just change that titles italian in place python you can keep don't put expert level then in the next one pi spark mm -hmm. then remove the french okay right now we can preview our resume go to your resume put your mouse on the resume on the right side yeah see there is expansion click on that so here you can able to see the preview whatever the changes you are doing whether it is coming perfectly or not you can able to check it over here Uh, in place of Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pool, better you can remove Azure. Then uh, somehow it will save you some space, right? Remove the Azure, simply put Synapse dedicated SQL pool. That's fair enough. Yeah, back to editor. No yeah right scroll down so your skills are added for a data analyst also under the languages you can add sql python okay can all of you please confirm whether you have added the skill set or not okay now scroll down So here you need to add your uh, certifications for certifications means for Azure data engineers which certification you have to do DP203 certification you need to do okay simply add a custom section click on add item Hmm. here you can put uh, certification mm, wait scroll down scroll down scroll down wait wait okay remove the custom section go up delete this one right so here scroll down scroll down yeah click on this courses yeah uh, you can add it over here certification mm. 
DP203 and the next institution under the institution. What is the DP203 means? What is this exam? Azure? Now there is one exam name for a DP203. Associate Data Engineer or something. One second I will tell. For a data analyst you need to put a PL300. Azure Data Engineer Associate is the DP203. Azure Data Engineer Associate right for uh, data analyst it's pl300 pl300 means what is that power bi data analyst associate power bi data analyst associate pl300 stands for power bi I'm just pinging in the chart. Now you can preview a resume. Let's see how it is coming. Come down. Yeah, see under this. The courses title you need to change. In place of courses, we need to put the certifications. Is it possible to change the title courses? Go to uh, back to editor. Uh, is it possible to change that title? Go up. Mm. Yeah. Edit this as a certification no wrong spelling yeah correct now under the courses put dp203 under the institution you can put azure data engineer associate dp iphone 203 right here you can remove that dp203 and all those things remove the space right now you can preview Perfect. yeah this is how we can add multiple uh, certifications if you have anything okay for power bi developers data analyst pl300 power bi data analyst associate do you have any other certifications? Yeah, if you've done age at 900 also, you can do that one. What is that meaning of age at 900? Azure fundamentals, I think. So certifications are very mandatory nowadays companies are while filtering your resumes they are looking for your certification as well i mean they are taking this is also one kind of category okay done now scroll up no scroll up okay so almost we have done on the title is complete can you uh, expand your resume yeah if you see in your resume your top name and your title 
your location mobile number okay and uh, your detail section your skill section scroll down see power bi it looks small i right that's not good right so you need to change to cap size and languages and education details everything is done scroll down yeah so your education details and uh, your certifications has done now the pending thing is scroll up now your pending thing is your profile under the profile the summary roles and responsibilities and uh, so uh, sapna you are a data analyst right so you need to add pl300 and uh, power bi data analyst associate as the one how to add that one can you goes to the back to editor uh, srinivas so scroll down scroll down here you need to click on the courses actually once you are click on the courses change the title of the courses as a certifications if you want to share your screen then we can Please share your screen, Sapna. Sapna, share your screen. Sapna, are you there? Okay, anyhow. Right. See you can share your screen again. Hmm. So this part is uh, clear up to this part. Now coming to the profile section. okay first we need to understand this profile to profile uh, for example uh, consider Srinivas so Srinivas can you open a notepad Srinivas open a notepad 
right scroll down so we want to first understand the previous experience kind of thing okay so earlier if you are uh, so we can categorize the people here different ways one is about category one type it category one so category one is belongs to they are working in it they have already some experience in it these are the working in it but a different technology So the maximum experience on this data engineering or data analyst experience, I want you to mention maximum five years, maximum five years. Minimum two years. two to five years range actually okay same for data analyst also okay so in the category one he is a working employee in IT but a different technology let's take a use case one write down under the working in IT in but different technology use case one so what is this use case one is for example he have he has more than five years of experience more than five means it might be a 10 or 7 or 15 or 16 whatever it is So what he needs to do is he has to keep from today onwards back four years or five years choice is yours whether you want to keep four years experience or five years experience on this data engineering average four years maximum five minimum two average is four years so for example you have more than five years of experience but when you are going to keep in your resume about this Azure data engineering experience you need to keep from today onwards back four years or five years just count that uh, month and year don't mention the dates just tentatively month and year is important today to today onwards back four years you need to mention as a azure data engineering experience total how many projects you need to keep it in this uh, four years or five years of experience three projects is needed okay so
so he has more than five years of experience right that means he have seven years or ten years let's take it he has uh, seven years of experience so here in your uh, resume from the last four years you are working as a azure data engineer but earlier to that you have some other experience right so overall seven years you have out of seven years four years you are keeping like a azure data engineering then what about the remaining three years the past three years you can mention whatever the actual experience you have so total seven years out of seven years the current four years you are working as a azure data engineering and previous three years you can keep your old experience only and also you can add your previous projects whatever you have done and also in your resume under the skills you need to add your other skills also for example you are working for sap or you are working for uh, java or you are working for uh, testing you are working for qa engineer whatever the skills you have under the skills you can mention those skills as well if you are like uh, yeah let's coming if you are keeping four years on azure data engineering keep three projects if you are putting just three years or below three years then keep it two projects is enough that that is the next use case don't write that one okay so first you need to break down here break down means total seven years experience you need to break down into multiple projects ten years okay for example your career started at uh, seven years back uh, what is the tentatively date and year i mean month and year write down month uh, seven years back means from today onwards what what will come it might be 2017 yeah 2017 and uh, tentatively you can take it to august month write down in the bottom to the 17 august and what is the end date for that project this is for project one which you started starting of your career mention the end date now write down the starting i mean prior to 2017 only write down project one i fun to the project one right end date tentatively you can make it one year or two years whatever it is the project you worked start date start month year end month year and also you need to write down 
what is your project name what is your client name just write down any sample project name or client name definitely for your projects there is a name if nothing then you can you can make some other random name no problem client name okay so this is how you need to break down so i told you right for azure data engineering you are keeping four years so four years three projects so and an average one year three months one year four months will come right so not exactly one year four months you need to break down that into three projects and uh, the month dates continuation should be there write down just like put project 2 on the top and the above of the project 1 put the project 2 in your resume also the order should come here not the bottom on the top you can write down just copy paste the above one don't write again and again copy paste three times in the bottom you can write down no no no, no. write down in the bottom just break it one after one one after one remove the above yeah right one more time you can because you are going to keep three projects and you have other previous experience also copy paste one more time right so project one means your starting career that should be in the bottom project one means your starting of the career that should be in your resume it should be in the bottom not in the top change the order project four should come project one project two project three project four right so project 4 is the current project in your resume also you need to maintain like this okay now you can see here total 7 years experience you have then you are mentioning total 4 projects then your career project 1 started in 2017 august you completed 2021 february then project to when it will start obviously in 2021 march something like that continuation mention that date okay project 4 end it is currently you are working till date you need to mention remove 2021 february and months also you need to change it according to that Uh, some people are working so far entire seven years one project only if you really work yes you can keep it but ideally it is not a best practice to keep one project only
Okay. So someone is working in one project from last 2.6 years. Yes, you can mention that uh, 2.6 years experience as data engineer working on that project. Okay. So here, if you observe, guys, total seven years definitely has worked for different projects. But here, three years is keeping his old experience his client but whatever the data engineering is going to keep what is the project name what is the client name he has to keep for example this guy is working from different different clients from last seven years you can keep as it is the project and client names what you worked but you need to tell you work for the data engineering of course, you work as a Java developer, but in your resume, you will mention for the same client, same project, you are going to mention, I was working like Azure Data Engineer. But in real, you worked as a data, sorry, you worked as a Java developer. Is that fine? Yes. Because they are not going to verify on which technology worked. They are going to verify whether you worked or not in this company or not. That's all. So if you really work, then the client name and the project name, whichever you worked earlier, you can mention that one. Okay. This is the use case one. Okay. Write down this point. Note the project names and client names. the project names and client names whichever you worked earlier you can use the same client names and project names the project names and client names you can use whichever you really worked so this is the use case one Next category two. So this category two people, they don't have any work experience in IT or non IT. Zero experience but they have a career gap zero experience with the career gap any questions on the category one people 
please let me know zero experience with career gap how much career gap you have you might have 10 years you might have six years you might have two years you might have three years i have 10 years career gap because i completed my graduation 2015 that means are you going to put uh, 10 years of experience no the limit of experience is maximum experience five years minimum two years average four years so you can copy the above point max experience five years minimum two years average four so how many years of experience you can keep average 4.5 Your wish, two to five years, whichever the experience you can keep, your wish, in between this range. Okay. So what these guys has to do, they have to, from today onwards, back, how many years experience you want to keep, maximum five, minimum two. You can count that one. From today onwards, back to 4.5 years if you want to. Today onwards, back 4.5 years of Azure Data Engineering experience. From today onwards, back 4 years or 4.5, whatever. If you are keeping 4 or 4.5 experience, again you need to keep 3 projects needs to be included in the resume. If you are keeping just 3 years or 2.5, just 2 projects is enough. And uh, this profile you no need to add any other skill set whatever the skill set we added right that is fair enough whichever the skill set already we added that is fair enough right on that point no need to add any other skill set extra skill set because these people don't have any experience Okay, so here these people, uh, if they are keeping three projects, then copy paste on the top, whatever the project one, project two, project uh, three. You can copy project two, project three, project four. Because you need to put on the till date, right? If you are keeping two projects, just keep it the two projects. So here you can change project one, two, three. And also you need to change according to the 4.5 years of experience. What is your start project one start year month and year month. Okay. It might be 2020. 20 years or whatever. Yeah. According to that, you can change it.
is this clear for category two people any questions in the category two people okay the question here for category two people what is the project name client name i need to keep it for example if i i if i need to keep two project three projects i didn't work on any projects right so what is the project which is the client i need to work so for that first you need to decide right down in the bottom there are so many domains in the market i mean like uh, there is a retail domain healthcare domain banking domain insurance domain so from which domain you want to keep the projects you need to decide it first okay banking domain insurance domain health care retail finance go to chat gpt type a question type a prompt in the chat gpt open the chat gpt yeah so here you need to ask a question can you please give me different kind of kind of business domain names yeah click enter See here technology e-commerce scroll down health wellness finance consulting and a creative media education domain real estate domain travel hospitality food beverages environmental sustainability these are all the domains domains means it's like a working like in the market there are so many clients are there for example uh, dmart dmart is one of the domain correct real estate company there are so many real estate companies so you are implementing a data engineering project for the real estate domain so first you need to decide which domain you are more familiar and you are more convenient for example some people have idea about the retail retail means supermarkets some people are more familiar with real estate okay so this is how we need to decide what is the you can ask the question here again give me only domain names give me only domain names hmm, enter Oh, it is giving uh, websites okay give some example then chat gpt will understand hmm, right then send it Okay, I will do this on my machine. Let's go to chat GPT. I will ask. Hey, can you give me some business 
domain names in the market like uh, banking insurance retail what are the different business industry domains yeah just give me the headings right okay these are all the domains technology and it finance and banking healthcare pharmaceutical retail consumer goods manufacturing industry real estate and construction education planning transportation logistics energy and utilities so you need to decide any of one domain which one you want to go i'm just pinging this in the chart okay so first you need to identify the domain business domains so out of this list of domains total three projects or two projects you are trying to find out right latest domain i want to use retail and consumer for the latest project let me ask chat gpt copy this one and go to chat gpt and you give me top and you give me top clients top clients in retail and consumer goods business okay in this particular sector top clients top clients means retail means like walmart whatever it is i will ask can you give me top 10 clients in retail and consumer goods business see walmart Amazon, Costco, the Home Depot. These are the top clients. Let me ask. Give me titles. Okay. These are all the top clients in the consumer goods. So I have identified a domain. Which domain I have identified? Retail and consumer goods. Top 10 clients. So don't put this top 10 clients in your project. Because if you are keeping Walmart, most of the companies, most of the people knows who is doing the Walmart project. If you are keeping Walmart, they will understand easily your profile is a unexperienced profile. Now, apart from this top 10 clients in this the domain, remaining clients you need to put it. Now I will ask, give me other client names apart from the above top 10. Let's see. Now it is giving Best Bay, Kroger, Lois, TJX companies, Walgreen Boards, Alice, CVS Health, Abercrombie, Fitch, HM, Nordstrom. So out of this, you can select any of one. So what I'm saying, in a specific domain, find the top 10 clients. Out of the 10 clients, exclude those 10 clients. And try to ask other mid-level clients 
best buy is the mid level client comparing to this walmart so choose any of one out of this 10 exclude the above and clients find out next level clients and uh, choose any of one client you understand let's for example i'm more interested to choose best b best b i am going to use or else kroger i will use in my resume the project one kroger i am going to use it now we can ask i want to develop a data engineering project for the client kroger give me some project name okay. you can put any of one name retire intense dashboard or kroger customer behavior analyzer supply chain optimization engine kroger demand forecasting system any name you can put let's take it kroger insight engine or smart shop data pipeline kroger data fusion hub okay any of one name you can take this one this is my project name who is your client so my project name is this one client is Kroger this is how the project one and the client name you need to identify anyhow this start date and uh, end date of the project you know this is for project one next similarly project two similarly project three identify the domain find out the top 10 clients exclude the top 10 clients and uh, next level 10 clients find out the client name ask which, what is the project name you want to keep it it will suggest one project name then again you can able to put the what is your start date and date you can so this preparation you need to do from your end because if i am doing for everyone mostly similarity will come you need to do from your end this similar this analysis so project one end date is always till date but these two projects project one project three having the start date and end date okay Srinivas, can you please ping me the content what you have typed in your uh, notepad i will uh, ping you this one as well for you So first to try to prepare what is your projects so by tomorrow what i'm expecting from all of you you have to find out projects if you don't have any experience how to find out a project name and client name is this is the approach if you're already working some other projects yes you can use that projects there is a category three cinemas please share your screen there is a third category The third category is 
No, go up only. Go up. Okay. Yeah, here you can put category three. Having some non IT experience, having some non IT experience. So here, like uh, another category, some people working in non-IT, but now from last one year or two years, they don't have any work experience. So they have to keep as it is whatever the previous non-IT experience they have. And this career gap, you need to fill with some experiences. Okay. And the category one also, some people having IT experience earlier, but from last few years they were not working so you need to fill that gap whatever it is okay so non it experienced people also what you guys can do you can keep past is whatever the experience you have okay and uh, your experience you need to break down into multiple projects and also the client names and everything you can able to uh, my suggestion would be if you are working for non IT, mostly there is some business for your client. For example, I work for uh, uh, Google company, non IT job, or Wipro company, non IT job. Definitely, there is some business for which client you work. Try to find out that kind of domain because you have already domain knowledge. Some people working in the banking. All right. So, when they are working in a banking, Definitely you have a banking knowledge. So try to put the banking uh, clients only. Okay. So you also need to do similar like the category two people, how they are identifying the project names and the client names and everything break up. You need to prepare. Okay. Whatever the experience you have, you can able to keep it. Of course, in non IT, you might have 10 years experience out of 10 years. The latest 4.5 years experience only will put azure experience the remaining all previous you can keep it as it is you can keep as it is your experience okay so there is a category four they are like a freshers they don't have any experience category four zero uh, freshers you can put it as a fresher or one year experience so you guys have to apply for a job like a fresher only don't mention these projects and all those things you just keep what the skill you have learned and then uh, you can put like a fresher only trained fresher only only in your fresher resume add these skills that's all So by tomorrow on the same time, what I'm expecting from all of you, please try to break down this one, your experience, project one, project two, project three, find out the client names and project names. Then I will tell you in your resume where you need to put the project names, project names and uh, what are the roles and responsibilities and the descriptions I will provide. Okay. So can you please copy this category four onwards on the top? Yeah, copy this into the chart. I will share this recording video also to everyone. I will share this recording video. In the same time tomorrow, we can meet.
I'm expecting that to be done by everyone by tomorrow session. 8 a.m. same link you can use. So if any kind of uh, confusions about your profile, one on one, we can discuss in the tomorrow session. And don't download the PDF assume. Don't download it. Just preview over there as well. Okay, you need to fill all the personal details, certification details, and your skill set details. And just enter in your notepad your project names, client names, start year, end month, year, whatever I according to your profile. Okay. And nowadays certification is very mandatory. If you need anyone help for the certifications, I'm just pinging one number in the chat group. So please reach out that number if you need any kind of certification help. Because companies, HRs are asking when they are going to schedule a, uh, this one interview, they are expecting certification as completed or not. Okay. I will share this notepad, no problem. I will share this recording video as well. Yeah.